Welcome to our lecture online. A really big factor on whether or not we will be successful with deductive reasoning is visualization. Our brains are much better at looking at pictures than looking at text. And sometimes when we read a problem and we read the text, it is difficult for us to conjure up an image of what that looks like and what we're actually doing. And because of that, we quite often come up with the wrong deductive reasoning, the wrong set of rules, and the wrong final answer. And so, if we draw a picture, we might get a much better idea of how to do that. Now, I picked an example that I have a lot of experience with because this is something that we do in a lab in one of my classes, and it's surprising how many students get this question wrong. They were asked to measure the outer diameter of a glass tube, and so let's say that they measured it and it was 4.0 centimeters. And then they were asked to also measure the inner diameter of that same glass tube. And let's say that they end up with 3.6 centimeters. And then they were asked, what is the thickness of the glass of that tube? And how many students will do the following? They go, oh, no problem. If we let, for example, we'll let T represent the thickness of the glass, they say, well, therefore, T is equal to the outer diameter, 4.0 centimeters, minus the inner diameter, which is 3.6 centimeters, so therefore it must be 0.4 centimeters. And then they're very surprised when I tell them that wasn't correct. So they're very puzzled. They look at me and they go, well, what did I do wrong? I simply subtracted the two numbers and I should get the right answer. And again, that is what we get when we do deductive reasoning without fully understanding the picture. So let's draw a picture and let's see if we can figure out what was wrong with this answer. So let's say we have a test tube made out of glass and that would probably look something like this. Like that. And so here we have the outer diameter. So they measure the outer diameter so we say D outer is equal to 4.0 centimeters. And then they went ahead and measured the inner diameter. So this would be D inner, and that was equal to 3.6 centimeters. And now they were asked to measure or to, de to deduce from that the thickness of the glass. And so you realize that the thickness would be this one right here, which could also be seen on the other side. So here, from there to there, that is the thickness of the glass, but we also have the thickness on the other side. And then when we have a visual picture of that, you can then see that the total outer diameter includes the inner diameter and twice the thickness of the glass. So in other words, if we draw an equation based upon what we see here, that the outer diameter is equal to the inner diameter plus two times the thickness of the glass. So therefore, if we solve for the thickness of the glass, then we can say that if we bring the inner diameter to the left side, we have the outer minus d inner is equal to 2 times the thickness. And then if we divide both sides by 2, we can see that divide this by 2, and we divide this by 2, then finally that the outer diameter minus the inner diameter divided by 2 is equal to the thickness of the glass. And then when we calculate it, we get the following. We can see, therefore, that t is equal to 4.0 centimeters minus 3.6 centimeters divided by 2, which is equal to 0.4 centimeters divided by 2, which is equal to 0.2 centimeters. That's the decimal right there. So you can see that the actual answer is only 0.2 centimeters when many students thought it was 0.4 centimeters. And notice that when you draw the picture, you can then clearly see that this distance is equal to this plus this plus that twice the thickness of the glass. And again, success can be reached much more easily when we have a visualization of what's going on, and pictures definitely help with that. And that's how it's done.